Hi class, Mac Engel, Fort Worth Star Telegram. I'm here for another edition of the Mac Attack at AT&T Stadium, following the Dallas Cowboys' most recent painful, painful loss, 13 to 12 to the Seattle Seahawks. I could have done this video from any number of locations, this field, sideline, press box, and maybe even right outside the stadium, where all the pretty hot, sexy TV people like to do these things from. However, I chose a location far more symbolic and reflective of the entire 2015 Dallas Cowboys season, the toilet. Now, I, there are a lot of good things that came from this game today. Oh, oh I, got, I got one, I got one. Uh, uh, Greg Hardy didn't go after any assistant coaches on the sideline, so that was a major plus. And uh, Dan Bailey, he didn't miss any field goals, so that's, that's big. Um, Des Bryant, he came back, Des Bryant. This today was his first game back since he suffered the broken bone in his left foot, or whatever foot he cares, against the New York Giants. So that was big. And, um, and he doesn't have any catches, and he went on a massive I hate the media tirade uh, immediately after the game. So that's a positive. That's a positive. Um, Cowboys forced a turnover. Their first turnover that they forced in almost 280 plays. Greg Hardy came up with a credible uh, tip and interception of a Russell Wilson pass in the second half that, that should have led to the game-winning game, game winning, uh, touchdown, but instead it led to another Dan Bailey field goal. Uh, what else is positive? Uh, whoa, I know, I got one, I got one, I got one. Darren McFadden, he had a catch, it was a catch, and then he fumbled it, and the Seahawks recovered it, but the officials looked at it and they decided he hadn't caught the ball. Because, you know, in the NFL right now, who knows what's a catch, right? Get a catch and run with it and take it home and give it to your kids, whatever else, that's not a catch. Um, I don't know what you need to do for a catch anymore. But uh, bottom line is the Dallas Cowboys are now 0-5 <laughs> without Tony Romo as their starting quarterback. And Brandon Whedon, well, he was bad. And, well, Matt Castle looks pretty bad too. And right now, I, I don't know what are you going to try. Maybe Roger Staubach, he was there today to honor uh, Darren Woodson, who went into the uh, Ring of Honor. Roger looks like he might have a couple throws in him. <laughs> you know, really, I have no idea what's left because all I know is right now, the more I watch this team, all I want to do is flush it. 